Hey guys, I'm here to show you another video of Far Cry 3. This one is uh, going to be focused more on to helping you get extra XP. Now right now I'm at an outpost called the Next Diner. I came in from the river over there. Um, it was just the closest outpost that I haven't uh, taken over. Now what this bonus does is if you if you kill everyone without them even seeing you, um, they'll have the bar over them which fills up and once it's filled up all the way it indicates that they know you're there and they've seen you. So uh, basically what you're going to want to do is uh, search out the alarm systems. Make sure you see them all. You don't have to disable these up close. If you can, you can disable them up close and it'll disable all of them. But that's not necessarily what you have to do. Now, uh, once you find where they're at, make sure you find them all. Or else they might activate one on accident. And they'll call reinforcements. And next is use your camera to scout all the enemies in the current outpost. Whichever one you're at. Now this base, I found two security systems, and so basically what you're going to want, for sure, if you want this bonus, is silencers. Get all your guns silenced. Um, I'm using the sniper with the silencer, and obviously, so I can just stay way back here, because they can see you from far away, but if you have bushes or trees to hide behind, they'll go away. Now, um, I'm just making sure I have everyone scouted so I know where they're all at. That way um, they don't accidentally sneak up behind me and see me because that ruins the entire thing and you won't get the bonus anymore. Now uh, what I'm going to do, what I would prefer to do is um, take out one or two from a distance and then move and then keep doing the same thing over and over. But before any of that, I want to take out these security systems. They, um, as you can see, the, I believe the tree got in my way. But uh, yeah, just don't let the tree get in your way, guys. Now, um, there. I broke that one, and I want to get out of there because sometimes they can know. Sometimes they'll, like, search from where the shot came from, even though it's silenced. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just moving locations. I'm going to try and take out the other alarm system. And basically, all the tips are is always aim for the head because if you miss this guy, this guy is the armored guy. But, uh, obviously, they have a big strong armor to take lots of bullets but the back of their head is vulnerable and one hit to the back of the head as you saw takes them out no problem now like I said I recommend aiming for the head always even if it takes a little longer to set up um, just go for the head because if you miss they will look right from where the bullet came from and sometimes you'll expose yourself like instantly like that now I'm looking for the other alarm system here it's a little more to the right so I'm gonna reposition myself always make sure before you kill people always make sure you have somewhere to hide make sure there's a tree to hide behind or some bushes and and that's the second security system for this base now all I gotta do is take out the rest without them noticing me so uh, you can continue to watch here if you'd like or you can skip close to the end and uh, yeah, that's basically it. All I'm going to do from here on out is show the rest of the video of me picking them off one by one. Um, the last one to die is another armored guy because I just uh, am stubborn and only want to hit him in the back of the head because I don't want to risk losing my bonus by him noticing me. But uh, yes, if you complete this, you get uh, you have to do this twice and you'll... Rep complete the requirements to unlock ninja step and then after that you still have to progress through story mode to unlock it and what that does is it makes you quieter when you're sneaking when you're crouching or I believe just running in general it'll just automatically make you quieter but uh yeah so you do that and also this is gonna help you level a lot faster because you get 1500 experience points if you do do this undetected anyways guys that's it um I'll probably say something at the end of this video, but uh, for now, I'm just going to stop talking. Enjoy.
Yes, I lost him. Help me find him. Yes, I lost him. Help me find him. Okay, now this is another thing you guys um should pay attention to is that the enemies will show themselves on the minimap if they're after you, but if they are not, then their red dot will disappear, but that doesn't mean they're gone. So um I seen a red dot on the minimap, but I don't see him on my camera, so what I do is I look at the minimap and um I take him out. And no, I miss. But I, at least I know where he's at now. And uh, you guys can see me fail horribly. But that part right there, if you do do this, how close, be careful because they can't see you. I try to slide past it. But uh, yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind, guys, is look at how many dots are on the map and make sure you have that many um, located with your camera. Make sure they add up or else you might walk around the wall and see a guy or a guy will see you that you don't even know is there because you didn't catch him with your camera. Now these are the last two guys, um, I just need to take out this one, remember these armored guys, they um, they can one hit to the back of the head because there's no armor right there and they're done. And also remember that rocks are your best friends if you don't want to get noticed. This guy, you can't shoot through these holes, as you can see right there, which is pretty awesome. I wasn't sure if it was going to work but I just went for it. And last but not least is the annoying armored man. Um, I believe, I don't know, I probably won't skip, I won't skip anything. You can skip through the video if you feel like it, but, uh, this one does take a while because, why well, it's just aiming for the back of the head or I'll keep missing. Very annoying. And I, I'm not too good with the arrows, but they are my favorites. But I do believe you can, uh, I'm not sure which guns, I believe the sniper's really powerful, so that's probably why it's one bullet to the back of the head. But I don't think any gun to the back of the head is a one shot. Now here I would love to just jump over and use the heavy beatdown skill, but uh, I don't have it yet. So uh, yeah, if you guys can get it, I say get it. That way you don't have to put up with this. Just sneak behind them and take them out. And there you get 200 for his headshots, which is really nice. Usually I'll get 80. And the experience will show up right now. And there it is, you get quite a lot. It's uh, three times more than just taking it over normally unless you take off an alarm you get like 580. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If this helped, please leave a like. And uh, if you do want to see more Far Cry videos, please be sure to subscribe. Also, if you do have this game, I haven't even touched the multiplayer yet because how fun the single player is. Um, If you are interested in playing that with me, then uh, just add me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.